Hey everyone, JT here. Welcome to my new channel. I'm going to call this the Renewable Energy Lab. Why that name? Because everything we're going to talk about here, both past and future projects, have been a bit of an experiment. Experiments based on research and data, but if I'm honest, I didn't always know what the outcome was going to be. Over the coming months, you're going to see successive projects. Some of them were great successes. Some of them were meh. And some of them were really expensive mistakes. So let's start by jumping back to 2010, when this whole journey started for me. Our country had just elected a new Labour government. Here in the UK, we elect our governments every four or five years. And yes, I'm talking about the last Labour government, not the one we elected a few days ago. They came to power with some big promises. And one of them was they were going to kickstart the renewable energy industry. They plan to do this by incentivizing people to install solar and later renewable heat systems. And they were going to guarantee these systems by letting you basically earn money for what you generated so you could take the load off of the national grid. They did this through something called the feed-in tariff. You install a solar system, then register the feed-in tariff, and every quarter you give them a reading from your generation meter. The way this worked seemed way too good to be true at the time. For every kilowatt hour you generated, you were paid around 45p. That's about an average over the first few years. And remember, energy prices then were so much lower. In fact, they were around about 10 pence per kilowatt. So paying you 45p for every kilowatt hour was really good. And then it got even better. You could use that kilowatt hour of power and get paid for using it. So you also then added on top of that what we call a deemed export because they worked on the principle that you weren't going to use everything you generated. So therefore, everything you generated, they took about half of it and gave you an extra three pence for every kilowatt that they deemed that you exported. So even if you used every electron you generated, you still got paid for the export. All of this was index linked, so the prices went up each year, so the amount you got paid per kilowatt hour rose. They're currently sitting around 60 pence a kilowatt, and that's guaranteed for 25 years from the time the system was installed. So in April 2010, I raided our savings and I installed a two kilowatt system comprising of 10 panels, about 200 watts per panel, facing in a south by southwest direction and a 2.1 kilowatt Fronius IG20 inverter. Now this is a really small system by today's standards, but to be honest, it was all I could afford at the time. If I knew what I knew now, I'd have gone to the bank and got a big loan. 14 years later, I've just decommissioned the system. I know what you're saying, you just said it was 25 years, why are you giving up the payments? More on that in a future video. But let's look at what it cost, what it was, what it paid for, and why the FIT system was shut down for new applicants in 2019. Over the life of my system, in the last 14 years, it's generated 26,684 kilowatt hours. Now that's not great for 14 years, but it was a very small system. An average cost of about 50 pence per kilowatt, that works out at about 13,342 pounds, or about 950 pounds a year. Then on top of that, another £1,067 for the export component. So in total, about £14,409 for a system that cost £15,250 to install. Seems like a bad idea, doesn't it? You kind of almost break even. But don't forget, we were able to use the power it generated at no cost. Given my system size, we were able to use about 90% of that with almost minimal exports. So with an average price over that time period of about 14 pence per kilowatt, that's another £3,735. So overall, it paid for itself. It made about £3,000 in profit in 14 years, to be honest, with little to no input from me. Um, and if I were to project that out over the full 25-year period that it's guaranteed for, it would make about £13,000 in profit. So almost doubling your money. So as you can see, the FIT scheme was a license to print money. Even if I'd borrowed the initial investment from the bank, it would have paid for itself and serviced the interest payments with ease. 
So ultimately, when things are too good to be true, governments close them down because too many people were registering for it. So as of 2019, the FIT scheme was shut down and there are new incentive schemes, but they're certainly nowhere near as good as the FIT scheme was. So what did I learn from this? Well, really there's three things. It's not often the government gives away free money. When they do, it's really worth doing the research. And especially when they back it up with a long-term guarantee, in this case, 25 years, it's probably worth investing in because over a long period of time, energy prices are gonna be volatile. You're probably gonna make your money back. But do the maths, check what it would cost to borrow it, what's the payback period, and if you can fix your interest rates so it's a known quantity, I would do that. The third thing, don't listen to those keyboard warriors. All the experts who were online, the guy down the pub who knows somebody who heard from a mate that this was a scam. This was my first solar system. It's been rock solid. It just sat on the roof, generating power and ultimately making me money. The only thing I did was preemptively replace that original Fronius inverter at about the 10 year point. Um, it cost me a, a little bit of money, but it was well worth it in the long run. Now, as I said, I've just decommissioned that system. And in the next few videos, we're gonna talk about what replaced it and why I took the, the risk of moving out of the FIT payment scheme. Hopefully, we'll be able to stay in it, but I'm still waiting to have that confirmed. I hope this video was useful, even if it was just to understand how these government incentives can actually work for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and if I'm lucky, I'll see you in the next one.